Hi everybody, Joe Patty here. And tonight, I'm just going to show you quick, like a bunny, how I make some blending solution for your alcohol inks. Let's get started, everybody. All right, I'm using the 91% isopropyl alcohol and some pure vegetable glycerin. I'm making three ounces, and for every ounce, you want three drops of your vegetable glycerin. Okay, so I put three ounces of the isopropyl alcohol in a cup. And I put some of the glycerin in here so I can measure it out by the drops instead of pouring it out of the bottle, whatever. And so I've got three ounces, so I'm going to use nine drops. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, if you use too much, it uh, has a tendency to have a really long drying time. And sometimes not dry at all. So you got to be careful and try to just get your measurements right. And I've seen this. I learned it on YouTube somewhere. I've seen somebody doing it. There's a million of these videos out there. So I couldn't even tell you where I got it from or where I learned it from. <laughs> many, many people have done it. Okay, so now I'm just rinsing out my dropper here a little bit because I don't want all that glycerin in my dropper. And the reason I made three ounces, and I'm going to stir this up really good. The reason I made three ounces is because I want three different types of applications. I don't know if I want a spray bottle or if I want a dropper or if I want a squirter because I don't know what I'm going to be making. So I just want to make sure I make enough so I can have that in all three bottles. And of course, it works best like when you use your alcohol inks. It works best on a, a real glossy surface or a shiny surface. Like so of course, yeah, it works better with like a photo paper and tiles and stuff because it's glossy and uh, it works better. Spreads good. All right, here we go. Got that done. Now I'm going to pour it in here. This is going to be my dropper here. Let's see. <laughs> I can't talk and work at the same time. Isn't that silly? I'm going to spread it out a little bit because I don't know how much. I kind of want more of my squirt bottle. I'm going to make this video really short. I just want a little informational video. Let's see here. Maybe I'll fast forward all this stuff. There you have it. Homemade blending solution. Save you all some money. Save yourself some money, everybody. And spread it around so you can have different applications because you never know what you're going to create, right? everyone let's see how it works okay everybody this video got interrupted last night because something came up <laughs> so it's the next day and let's try out this blending solution that we created last night plus I had to dig out my little airbrush thing so I couldn't find it and yeah 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 it's hectic hectic <laughs> okay here we go okay so like I said I made three different types of little bottles for it let's just spray some this is just a plastic lid I'm just gonna spray some in here that's uh whatever that is <laughs> that's been in there a while Let's just put a little more. I'm going to get the dropper out here, too. Just so we can play around. Just for a second. I don't want to make a long video. So, let's put a little ink on here. Okay, let's play around a little bit. I got my Holtz here. Just dropping a little bit of this pistachio. I think it's pistachio. Let's see. Yep, that's pistachio. And let's do a little purple. It's called Blanius. I don't know. <laughs> just throwing it on there. Let's put a little blue in there. Let's just see how it works. This is our blending solution, everybody. This is what we made, right? Because it seems like I got a lot in there, but that's okay. Let's just blow it around. Back into each other. Pretty. I like these colors. So I guess I'm testing out colors, too. This looks orange. It's called Enchanted, but I don't know what color it is. <laughs> it just looks orange. But it's a pearlescent color. Look how pretty that is. That is really pretty. It's called Enchanted. This is Ranger Ink. And then here is some mix of tip rose gold. Let's just throw that on there too. Because like I said, we're just playing. We're just playing, everybody. Playing in paints, playing in inks. Ooh, pretty, pretty. 
And I make my own rose gold, but I don't make my own rose gold pink, uh, ink. So this rose gold ink actually looks like a bronze. A bronzy silver color. Let's put it over here. Yeah, it kind of looks bronzy, silvery. Don't look very rose gold to me. But that's just me, everybody. Maybe I got my colors wrong. <laughs> now I dropped a little bit of my Jacker Pinata, Passion Purple. And we'll throw a little black on there and then we'll be done playing. Just wanted to test out our homemade blending solution and it seems like it worked out pretty good. So you guys can save some money and go make your own blending solution. Really cool. Just to hurry up with the video here. I got these really cool with Tim Holtz. These little cute little uh, like, I don't know, they're not stickers, they're just paper, like paper dolls or whatever, but they're Halloween-y, aren't they cool? Can probably create something really cool with that, you guys. But anyway, that's in, uh, his section there. <laughs> Tim Holtz, paperology. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Thank you for watching. Arrivederci, everybody. See you again soon, back in my studio.